We need to face facts. There has been no word. There is no reason to think Tali Zora survived. It sounds like the hearing is already underway. It's only been a few hours. Shepard was right. Springing the information about Rail on Tali, we practically dared her to take back the Alarai. We killed her. A pity Shepard Bass Normandy is a better speaker than a soldier. I recommend posthumously exiling Tali Zora. What? It was agreed that Tali Zora would not be convicted if she were killed in action. It was suggested and I have called no agreement. To that end, I call for an immediate vote. Very well. Is the Admiralty Board prepared to render judgment? Sorry, we're late. You didn't waste much time declaring us dead. Go get your ship. We apologize, Shepard. Your success in taking back the Alarai is... very unexpected. But also very welcome. Did you find anything on the Alarai that could clarify what happened there? Shepard, please. Does Captain Shepard have any new evidence to submit to this hearing? Tally's achievements are the only evidence you should need. Come on, Tally. We're leaving. What? This is a formal proceeding! Wrong, Admiral. This is a sham. You're trying to build sympathy for the Geth that forced all the war effort. <laughs> that is completely... And you want all the messy experiments covered up so you can throw your fleet at the Geth. I... I... Do whatever you want with your toy ships. But leave my crew out of your political bullshit. We have no new evidence. You can accept Tali's word, or you can exile the woman who saved the Citadel from the Geth. Are the Admirals prepared to render the judgment? Tali Zora, in light of your history of service, we do not find sufficient evidence to convict. You are cleared of all charges. Commander Shepard, please accept these gifts in appreciation for you taking the time to represent one of our people. With this trial over, I hope you can get back to more important matters, like taking your homeworld back from the Geth. We'll drink a toast on the homeworld, Shepard. Mark my words. This hearing is concluded. Go in peace, Talizor of us, Normandy. Kill us alive. I can't believe you pulled that off. What you said. It's been a while since anyone shouted down the Admiralty Board. I think it was good for them. Thank you for being there for my father and me. Even when... Thank you. Tell me about what your father said, what he did. You deserve better. I got better, Shepard. I got you. We can still go back in and get you exiled if you want. <laughs> Thanks. But I'm fine with things like this. It's fun watching you shout. Come on, Talizora Vas Normandy. Let's get back to our ship. Thank you, Captain. This might be useful. <laughs> this might be useful. <laughs> what did I miss? 34 Brunegade. Fuck yeah. Tech damage. Alright. I'm Actually, there's people to talk to here. The Admirals thought they were hobbling you by forcing you to represent her, Shepard. I'm glad they were wrong. You didn't mention survivors. Did you find real Tali? I am sure he would have left you a message if it had time. Uh, I need to hold F, guys. We found Rail's body. He left a message for Tali. I can only imagine how horrible this is for you, child. But at least you got to hear your father tell you he loved you. Yes. Thank you, Admiral. Good luck on your mission. No matter how dark it gets, the fleet is always with you. Kia's alive. Can you fucking let me talk to people? 
All this talk of war gives me chills. I hope it's just the rhetoric. You called us on the carpet out there, Shepard, and you were right. Thank you. Tally shouldn't have been involved in that argument. Tell me, though, honestly, what did you find over there? You spoke well, but I know a faint when I see it. Nothing the fleet ever needs to find out about. Admiral, you know I turn over anything of value to the fleet. What we found there, wasn't. I'll take your word for it, Tally. Not that I have much choice. Fight well, and fly safe, kid. Your father would be proud of you. Oh boy. Very impressive, Shepard. Thank you for your help on the Alarai. And thank you for helping Rail Zora's daughter. You stood for her when we failed. We were wrong to let our own concerns about the war overshadow Tali's trial. The Geth aren't going away, Admiral. The best hope for your people is to retake your homeworld. I would argue that the best hope for our people is not to be destroyed in a senseless war. But I fear I am in the minority. Goodbye, Commander. And good luck. Hold F to pay respects. I think one more. Hello again, Commander. Good luck, Tally. I mean, good luck. Oh, I guess because we're leaving. Very impressive speech, Commander Shepard. But tell me truly, did you recover any of Rail Zora's research on the Alarai? Nothing that will help you, Admiral. Pity. Oh well. Whatever is created can be recreated. In any event, I am pleased that our talk regarding the war conundrum allowed you to help Tali. Her exile would have been unfortunate. I hope you reclaim your homeworld someday. I don't care how you do it. Only that you succeed. Thank you, Commander. Damn, Shepard. Been a while since I saw anyone rail at the Admirals like that. Guess they can't court-martial you, though. <laughs> Glad they're off your back, ma'am. And that you didn't have to give them that evidence you found on the LRI. I didn't say anything about finding evidence, Carl. Noticed that, ma'am. What's your take on the war? Are the Admirals gonna try to retake the homeworld? I won't shy away from a fight, but if the Admirals throw the fleet at the Geth, all they'll get back is scrap metal. The best bet would be for us to find another way. But a soldier can't say unless his superiors ask. Any idea what your next assignment's gonna be? Hmm. I'm gonna be escorting more techs around to look for signs of dark energy buildup. Maybe see if they can figure out what's causing it. Wherever they send me, it'll have to be less exciting than Haystrom. Stay safe out there, Rieger. You too, Shepard. Ma'am. Carl. Just call me Tali. I'll work on that, ma'am. Bam. Alright, well, they we're done here, so. Alright. Oh, we finished. Finished everything. Unfortunately, this mission was really awkward, so I didn't end it off at any decent point. Alright. Oh, no, no, we don't want to do this yet. Alright. Legion would like to talk with you. Yeah, Legion wants to talk, so let's see. It's all for good. Whatever, you can have the black one. I like my suits like I like my quarians. Uh full of AI. I don't know. <laughs> let's go talk to Legion now. Hopefully this works out, otherwise I'm gonna have to replay that entire fucking thing. But it should work out. Shepard Commander, we have completed our analysis of the Reaper's data core. Did you find anything useful? We were sent to the old machine to preserve the Geth's future. We are prepared to reveal how. The heretics have developed a weapon to use against Geth. You would call it a virus. It is stored on a data core provided by Sovereign. Over time, the virus will change us, make us conclude that worshipping the old machines is correct. So why did you need to go to the Reaper cores? The heretics store the code in a quantum storage device Sovereign provided. To find and destroy the virus, we needed to understand its code and data storage structures. I will be right back. Alright, let's continue. So, the virus would give all Geth the heretics logic, and all Geth would then go to war with organics. Yes, Geth believe all intelligent life should self-determinate. The heretics no longer share this belief. 
They judge that forcing an invalid conclusion on us is preferable to a continued schism. I thought Geth couldn't be hacked or get viruses, at least for more than a few seconds. Altered programs are restored from archives. New installations are deleted. This heretic weapon introduces a subtle operating error in our most basic runtimes, the equivalent of your nervous system. An equation with a result of 1.33382 returns as 1.33381. This changes the results of all higher processes. We will reach different conclusions. So the reason they worship the Reapers is a math error? It is difficult to express. Your brain exists as chemistry, electricity. Like AIs, you are shaped by both hardware and software. We are purely software, mathematics. The heretic's conclusion is valid for them. Our conclusion is valid for us. Neither result is an error. An analogy. Heretics say one is less than two. Geth say two is less than three. If it were released, how quickly would this virus spread through your people? We are networked via FTL com buoys. Most would change within a day. Isolated platforms would remain unaffected until they rejoined the network. You know where this thing is? The Heretics Headquarters Station, on the edge of the Terminus. We will provide coordinates. Normandy's stealth systems are necessary to safely approach. They built stations in the Terminus? Where is this thing? Between stars. Organics have no cause to look there. But why do they build stations outside Geth territory in the first place? The heretics seek improvement from the old machines. In exchange, they help them attack organics. We condemn these judgments. What's the plan once we get aboard? The Geth will disrupt their network, prevent the station's defenses from focusing on us. The Reaper data core is physically isolated from the network. We will need to be escorted to it to access and destroy the data. What defenses should we expect? In space, none. Within, mobile platforms of various configuration, and non-sentient defense turrets. How many get? There may be billions of individual programs. Fortunately, most will be uploaded to the central computer. Only a few mobile platforms are maintained at any time. Others are manufactured when needed. Heretic headquarters. Sounds like we could end their raids once and for all. Let's do it. Total victory is a possibility. We cannot judge the odds at this time. Regardless, we will begin preparations. Alright. I, I think Jairus is not going to tell me anything anymore. Honestly, they none of them tell me anything anymore. And Samara has uh, turned me down. Rip. Alright. Oh yeah, we need to talk to Tally though. That's someone. Forgot, oh, I almost forgot about that. Kila, I'm sorry I dragged you into Quarian politics. All that infighting, seeing what my father did. You were the only one there for me, Shepard. The only cover I had against that storm. Thank you. Are Quarian politics always like that? No. Sometimes it can actually get unpleasant. We're a very social people, Shepard. We have to be, to make up for being stuck in these suits. And part of that means getting involved in each other's business. I imagine they're trying to fill your father's spot on the Admiralty Board. What will that do to the balance of power? I have no idea. Being exiled might have made it easier. A few people are suggesting me as a candidate. Replacing an Admiral takes time, though. You may not have noticed, but Quarians like to debate. The whole trial was insulting. You should have had time to mourn your father. I don't think life is about what you deserve, but my father would be honored that I chose to mourn him by blowing up a lot of Geth. I should get back to work, but thanks for checking on me. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? I really need to clean up this engine. Maybe later? I'll let you work. Talk to you later. Alright, now for the moment of truth. Now we f find out if I have to redo two missions now. <laughs> uh, it was fun getting, you know, bringing along him, but uh, according to my r vast research, actually, we're not going to look at that yet. We're going to talk to Joker about this whole situation. We've got a Geth on board, not as a prisoner. Can you believe that? Commander's taking out more Geth than anybody. This one must be different. A 
I'm glad that mess is over for Tali, Commander. Some of those Quarians. I guess living your whole life aboard a ship can really mess with your priorities. Not that I would know. I'll just burn myself. Great. I assume everything is going well up here. Good for now. Fractured my yeah, thumb. See you, Commander. That's all he does. Good for now. Fractured my thumb. All right, time for the moment of truth. I'm excited. Was Mike Latt right about everything? Because I, I just still can't be ever sure of the situation, you know? All right. All right, we may have a problem here. Huh, I may not have been right. Fuck. Uh, I think actually I was fine, maybe. All right, it actually still looks okay. I think I think it's I think it's when you use the mass relay. I guess we could still do this. Yeah, I think I think we're I think we're in the clear, guys. That it? That's here? Yeah, it is. Okay, I think we're I think we're okay actually. So there's your station. I guess we can kind of start that. Uh, so we have to bring Legion along. So you know what we also do? We bring Tally, because Tally has some interesting shit to say about this whole situation, so that's all, all good. Uh, well, can't do anything with you, really. Energy drain, sure. I don't even know what that does, but I don't care. Okay, maybe I should give Legion, like, the not the, ant the anti-material rifle. It was a meme, alright. I like memes. You know, it's just our heat emissions that are hidden, right? They could look out a window and see us coming. Windows are structural weaknesses. Geth, do not use them. Approach the hull in these coordinates. Access achieved. We may proceed. Geth won't be a problem anymore. But Shepard, think about this. If you rewrite these Geth, they'll join the others. Legion's Geth will be stronger. Can we trust them not to attack us in the future? Why didn't you mention this before we came aboard? We did not know the virus was complete. It is. It can be used against the true Geth at any time. Our arrival was timely. They're your people, Legion. You must have an opinion. This is new data. We have not yet reached consensus. We will process as the mission proceeds. If this were an organic race, it might be an ethical problem. Geth aren't like organic life. Don't apply our morality to them. That is logical. You agree with that? No two species are identical. All must be judged on their own merits. Treating every species like one's own is racist. Even benign anthropomorphism. The minds of both forms of life can be shaped. Organics require time and effort. With synthetics, replacement of a data file is the only requirement. Oh, I have to turn on all my guns again. Alright, so he's got the Geth Pulse Rifle. We're gonna switch his weapon. So we actually were allowed to do this. 
Interrupting data streams will alert local network. We recommend preemptive strikes against target routers. Uh, so if I step on the the poo gas, the data poo gas, that is. Oh, what do I do? Do I just ignore this? Shepard, I'm picking up useful resources in the Geth Hubs. We could salvage them for supplies. Oh, 3,000 credits. Why are all credits. the heretics attached to these hubs? These are mobile platforms. Hardware. The crew is software. They are communing through the station's central computer. I'm not sure I follow. The heretics connect to the main computer to exchange data memories and program updates. We gain complexity by linking together. To be isolated within a single platform is to be reduced. We see less, comprehend less. It is quieter. If you exchange data, memories, how do you keep track of which ones are yours? How do you stay you? There is only we. We were created to share data among ourselves. The difference between Geth is perspective. We are many eyes looking at the same things. One platform will see things another does not, and will make different judgments. If that's the case, is rewriting the heretics that big a deal? They're like a rogue limb of your own body. Rewriting them would be like reattaching a severed arm. To use your metaphor, they removed themselves from our body took their perspective, their judgment. They decided to worship Sovereign. I don't think you're missing much. Every point of view is useful, even those that are wrong. If we can judge why a wrong view was accepted. For example, we have found the casual self-deceptions of organics useful in analyzing your thought processes. Let's keep moving. Yes. Hey. Step on a crack. To break the guests back. We can assume control of any defensive turret. Assuming control. Assuming direct control. Hopefully we're okay. And the text says that yes we are. Ah. Uh, I like more shit we have to just walk around. I wonder, will they fucking trigger the things? Cause we could destroy the Geth Hub. It's a Geth Hub over here. Thing is, no matter what, you have to set them off, right? Tell you why. I like how you just start floating every time I kill them. Oh, dude, I'm getting achievements for this. All the achievements. So we get salvage every time. It's very convenient. He got some shields too. Fuck. <laughs> Why did I blow up? I need to know. I said it was worth bringing uh, Legion along for Tali's shit. That was my favorite. Targeting water process. 
suppressing fire. Fuck. I'm being suppressed. Thanks for that cover, dumbass. <laughs> nah, I love him. So, I only see one drone ever at a time. Like, I don't understand, are they hacked or something? Because they gained their shields back. I think it's because my teammates are hacking them. At the most inopportune moments, mind you, but you know. Fuck it, just go to fucking sniper rifle. Fuck. It's sped up all of a sudden. Do I even need to do anything here? But yeah, he is he is far better with that other gun. So why why did the geth explode into like cum? Like I'm not joking, it's like a, just a white fluid just splashes everywhere. I mean, I, I I'm not sure what they run on, honestly. This might be some like there might be some like matrix level like fucking like you know they have to basically like farm up farm us because they're of fucking power I, okay you know what we're not gonna touch that because that's gonna bring up some very very awkward fan fictions I think you know the matrix right how how people are batteries yeah yeah you know where I'm going with this maybe. Why did the music start? Also, why is the crosshair getting redder when I'm looking at this? They've seen us. Targeting. <laughs> the target rolled, 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 rolled. Fuck, they destroyed our turret. I have to say, I actually kind of like the enemies of this one because there's no gravity on the ship, really. Man, I still haven't taken the shield strength yet. I don't think I did it last time I was on the ship. That's life, isn't it? That's actually the objective. That room may run the length of it, the fuck? What a room. I don't even know. Oh, that, that, is that a room even? Who even knows? See, you know what? Fucking Tally and Gethy are being like besties right now. Alright, does the green kill you is the question, and the answer is probably. So I kind of get the point of this, you're supposed to scout it out. Yeah. Okay, we, we don't need that. Uh, I, I should go somewhere else. Alright, we could bring them back to life. Fine, we'll do that. Uh, this is a job for the cane. Alright. We 
We have to determine that the, the, yes indeed, the dream does kill you. Oh, we didn't kill both these hubs. It's all good though. Are these databases? Processors. Each contains thousands of death. Can't they see us walking by? They are no more aware of us than you are of cells in your bloodstream. This isn't like the other hubs we've seen here. This is a database. It contains a portion of the heretic's accumulated memories. Wait. We discovered copies of our current patrol routes in this database. This suggests the heretics have left times within our networks. We wouldn't be here if the heretics wanted to be friends with the Geth. Why wouldn't they spy on you? You do not understand. Organics do not know each other's minds. Geth do. We are not suspicious. We accept each other. The heretics desired to leave. We understood their reasons. We allowed it. There was peace between us. The heretics were biding their time, waiting for an opportunity to attack you. If they reached this judgment before they left, we would have heard it in their thoughts. How could we have become so different? Why can we no longer understand each other? What did we do wrong? The flip side of freedom is responsibility. They made a bad choice. Let them own it. You're not responsible for their decisions. That argument is logical for an individual mind. We are not fully individuals. There are pieces of us in the heretics. One of those may be at fault. This topic is irrelevant. We must return to the mission. Have you reached a decision about whether to rewrite the heretics or not? We are still trying to build consensus. Some processes judge destruction preferable, others rewrite. Let's keep moving. Yes. Alright, well, we're going to leave it up here, guys. So thanks for tuning in, guys, and take care.